Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another Loop Hero video. Uh, today I'm going to try to get some resources and maybe I'll be able to beat chapter 3. So um, I'm thinking about just going in chapter 2 right now um, and trying out a new strategy. So I think I want to do a bunch of spawns all at once and then try to... Um, either do the necromancer or do just like try to get damage to everything with um one of these two classes so i think i'm gonna actually start out trying to do the damage to all with this one and since we're doing chapter two I'm gonna set this all up um i'm gonna want treasury storm temple oblivion and beacon those are all really nice to have We'll do the crypt because I really like being able to get revive. Battlefield's amazing. Spider Cocoon works well with what we're doing. Grove, Village, Wheatfield, Road Lantern, Blood Grove. Um, apparently I need two from here. So, oh yeah, Forest is amazing. That gives you your attack speed. I think the desert's pretty bad because it, even though it lowers every creature's HP by 0.5%, it spawns some pretty rough guys. So I think this is good here. And then I don't think I have anything to build right now. I could build a mud hut. Um. Ooh, the watchtower library unlocks the maze of memories golden card if the intel center is built oh yeah i remember i was gonna go for the war camp next because i would really like the hero strength to be increased oh but the library doesn't take yeah it doesn't take any metal so i'm gonna go ahead and build that oh <laughs> who's this goofy guy Ah, this pleasant smell of cellulose sheets and da or sorry, dried ink. The smell of books, to put it simply. Look at us. Look at us. I am a scientist. Knowledge is my weapon. You are a traveler. Your weapon is a weapon. <laughs> um, and yet, in spite of all the differences, we both pursue the same goal. To study and recover this world. Theory, knowledge, learning. We shall discover this world anew, my friend. Great, buddy. So now we got the encyclopedia, I guess. I thought I had this before, though. Ah, whatever. I'm just going to start. Well, real quick. i to do this. So, 6% chance to redirect a storm, temple, lightning bolt, or any other pure damage attack into a random enemy. That's amazing for what I want right now. So I'm going to... Just equip that to all the parts. Oh. Uh, there we go. Um. Yeah, and then I don't really like the antique shelf that much. Okay. Let's get it. Oh, wait. Now we have this. It does nothing. It takes up a lot of space. Okay. Oh, bookery. Places three of your cards at random whenever you pass by. Collapses after it replaces 20 cards. That sounds pretty nice. Um, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll have that. All right, let's get it, let's go. But right off the bat, we got some armor and a weapon. We can't use the shield though, and I always put the crypt up in the corner. Nice, okay, so we got a thicket and meadow. I wonder what, if anything happens. Okay, sorry, I'm going all over the place. First things first, I'll put that there, put this here. And then if I get a storm um, temple, probably put it like right here. Gotta do a lot of spawns in this area. 
So I'll throw a spider cocoon down here, so it spawns along here. I just want to set it up on a long stretch of road. Then thicket. I think if I put it by something, it'll become... No, it didn't become anything better. I haven't really ever used the thicket, so I haven't gotten to experiment with it. Um, I think here's the best, because I don't want it on spaces. So I got these and these. So I'll try to put three spider cocoons here, maybe. And these give you a quest, and they heal you going through them. So I'll stick that right there. Got a quest now. Another thicket. I'll put the thickets by each other, because I guess I should. Ooh, burned forest. Hold up. We got a forest, thicket, and a burned forest. 0 0.5 pure damage. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got the blood grove. We'll have to wait until we get a grove. Use that. And then, um, for the village, I think I might have, like, two villages here and two villages here. Might be a good idea. Actually, it might have been a better idea to put it in the storm temple range. We'll see. What is this? A little, like, B something. Okay, we'll put this here for sure. Rocky. Okay. Oh, that that's the quest. Thing. Yeah, quest. Cool. We should get some average equipment. Pretty average. Got a lot of pure damage going, which is pretty good now, but I'd like to transition into, um, like the AoE damage later. This is definitely going to be our best weapon. This is definitely going to be our best armor, and they're definitely going to be our best... Cool. Our crit chance is actually pretty high right now. Nice and easy. Heck yeah. Wheat fields. Um, these guys, they spawn the scarecrows. Um, actually, that's okay. I'll put it here so that it's in range of this. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have put that there. Fortunate. That village over there is what I mean. Not too bad yet, but I'm just worried those bandits will be Oh. oh, lots of spiders. And the Storm Temple didn't go off during that whole thing. It's every five seconds, so the fight has to be really long. Ooh. Ah, uh, it's not worth it. Alright, more items. Ooh, what do we want here? Evasion bonus or D? I think the evasion bonus. Go with that. Um, is that 16%? That's better than level 4 regular. This will give us more max HP, but we really don't need max HP at the moment. Um... And this will do better flat damage than this dirk. Actually, this will do. I think it's worth it. We'll evade less, but we'll one-shot stuff a lot more often. And we've still got three potions, so, you know, we're good. Meadow, and then we can do the nice grove um, combo here. So we can set up the grove with the blood grove right next to it. Now everything in here that has less than 15% health will die instantly. 
That doesn't include me. Yeah, devours enemy. Yeah, that could have that could have been bad. So setting one more temple is a really or village is a really good idea. I think we'll set it right. Here. If I do that, then the storm temple will be able to help with bandits here. Hey, we got the alchemist shell. I'll have to see what that does later. Crit damage here. Oh my goodness. Maybe this whole storm temple idea is better with a knight character that I just go like defense on. Might reconsider doing it the way that I have been. Uh, let's set this right. Yeah. Just so it goes over this village. I don't want it to get um, too many bandits going. Now that we're doing all these quests, though, we should be getting a lot more items with our trophies. Another road lantern? Um, that one here. Really make sure that that camp is uh, going to be okie dokie. Um, this is, like, definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. I don't think I even want to look at the other armor, but I will. Yeah, no, none of them are worth it. Um, for boots, I think... Ooh. A little bit more attack speed? We lose evasion. I think the attack speed's better than the evasion. Okay. Just because we have a lot of health and a lot of potion, so. We're going kind of the glass cannon thing, surviving with potions. Got a forest. Rocks. Ooh. We got high damage to all with this. Nah, that's not worth it. Having that really high crit chance is very, very nice to have. Oh, here we go. Vicky lowers the quantity of items received, uh, but you get on the camp tile by three while increasing the quality of exchange for trophies. Or we can have it where I attack 10% chance to hit two targets or after losing 20% of his max HP in battle, the hero will evade all attacks for I like the simultaneous attacking because I'm going to be fighting uh, a lot of guys. I'm going to put this here so it's... And I'll put this... I'll put that here. Look at me a chest over there, which would be kind of nice. Um... I'm trying to do the plan. And it'll make all these ghosts, but the Blood Grove will help out with that. We'll throw... I'll throw the treasury down here. Put the... Forest and the mountain around. I don't know how I made these into burned forests, honestly. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh... Yes, sir. Definitely taking that. And then probably taking this. One of these two. So we're either going to do more damage to all. Yeah, we're just going to do more damage to all. That's what my whole character is based around. Oh, or like this whole um, idea that we're doing. Um, lower health, but 1% higher crit chance. Honestly, not worth it. I think we're good with what we got right now. Ah, man, holy crap. 
God, we almost died there. We drank all of our potions. All right. Well, this might be our last go about things. If we die, we get resurrected, and then I'll just end it on this run, and we can run home with all these items. Wait, did he just destroy my armor? That's insane. Okay, well, good thing I got some decent new armor. Actually, I'm going to wear this. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we'll resurrect. And hopefully we'll be able to get out of here. Oh, I should have put that down here. Scarecrow, eat. Got some wood. Oh no, I'm dead here. God dang, dude. Okay, let's try that again, but we're gonna go like this. Is there anything I could have done better here? Ruins? This is a random basic research guard. Passing through it. See, you can't go over 15. That makes me think that going less items would be better. I didn't get a single bookery. I kind of don't like the village in the week. Quests, it feels like the quests are killing me. All healing effects. No. Let's do the ruins. Let's try this. Okay. Oh, wait, can I build my thing yet? Two more. Okay, let's, let's do it. We'll try the warrior. Maybe this will work out better. Get the warrior equipment at the start. Oh, nice. Yeah, these are some long, long roads set up for me, so. That'll be really nice if I get, um, storm temples. So we'll put a mountain here. Heck yeah. Got a hard fight pretty early. What we like. Four to six. Okay. Put meadows around the rocks. Nice treasury pretty early on. That's good. Ooh, and some very nice armor. Or some very okay armor. What's that? I'm just replacing those just to get rid of them. Okay, we got a forest. Um, okay, I'm going to kind of experiment with the forests and the other the thickets down here. Meadow, rocks. Meadow again. The treasury is nice, but I kind of want a lot of enemy spawns at the start here. So I'm kind of going for a high defense build here. High defense and high damage to all. That's what we want. Because if we can hold off and let the lightning uh, thing do its work, the lightning temple, sorry, storm temple, then uh, things will be nice. Nice, we got a ring that gives us damage and pure damage and damage to all. Very helpful. Mountain and defense ring, but we're not necessarily needing to go all defense.
I will once these stack up a whole bunch, which it's getting pretty close to that point already. Nice, we got a beacon. I definitely want to speed myself up in here. Throw our mountain in the middle of that. There we go, Storm Temple. Okay. So, I think here's a great spot. But we'll go... Go here first. So we got this. For some reason, all the spiders are coming down here. And then, uh, Road Lantern. This is a really good spot for Road Lantern. Got higher defense. And I think I'm going to keep the damage to all here with my other ring. Ah, dang, this Storm Temple shocked me. Rip. Okay, mountain. We got a forest. So, we put a forest by a forest. Both normal. We put a forest by a thicket. They're both Spider cocoon here so that the storm temple are active. Forest. Ruins? Oh yeah, this is the one that gives you a random random basic resource shard. I'll put that here so that I get the shard and also it'll be in the road lantern range. Okay, I drank a potion, but we're actually in a pretty good spot because our potions are going to renew. Um, got a grove now. We can set the grove here. And we can do the blood grove here if we get one. That'll make these spots a lot easier for us. I'll go ahead and throw this mountain up here. Oh boy, we got a goblin camp. That's fun. Field. Fence ring. I think we're okay still. Okay, rocks. Boom. Meadow, so that's done. Heck yeah. Lots of resources. And wow, we got a lot of good stuff in there. So attack speed, pure damage, regen. Definitely worth it. Definitely also worth it. Got some more ruins and we got a thicket. I'll put two thickets by each other. Ah. Uh, that's how. Two thickets by each other makes one a burned forest, it looks like. And then I'm going to put these ruins down here. Um, so I don't have to deal with it this loop, but I still get the random resource. Nice. Okay, the storm temple actually worked for us that time. Holy crap. This is quite the interesting strategy. Oh! Are the burn... I bet they're burn force because they're in line with this. What happens if I put a mountain in them? Oh. Okay, maybe that's it? I'm not sure. Okay, that's our last potion. How do we level up? Damage is increased by 20% of defense value. That sounds really nice. After receiving this trait and at the start of every loop, the hero receives 65% of his max HP as Phantom Shield. Um, every counter heals the hero for 1.5 times loop HP. Every counter? Oh, every time I counter. We'll do the defense one. 
And nice, we got the blood grove. That's it's a lot. Okay. Oh, scorch worm. I'm gonna. Oh, do they attack? They attack over two different spaces. That's crazy. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do this or else I'm gonna die here. Thank God we got that oblivion at that time. We're good still. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, we just got so much more damage. So much damage and so much deep fall from that. Okay, so if I go a thicket up here. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, what's this? A village? Spawns a wooden warrior every two days. Here's on the road for every ten forests slash thicket. Interesting. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to end the loop up or end this whole run up here. Dang, we didn't get any scrap metal. So that's done. Hey, we got at least one medal. <laughs> that's good. I think we just gotta go. I mean, our weapon is still level one. We just got really unlucky this time around, it looks like. Nah, I'm gonna die if I stay. I know I would, so I should go. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching uh, Loop Hero, part like 13 or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I, I don't know if this was a good strategy or not. It felt good starting out, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.